Ready? Yep. Yes, please. Greetings. I am a director of Twantington McFuff and Associates, a public relations firm founded by my father, Peregrine, in 1909, and now run by myself and my husband, Gerald, a family firm representing the PR interests of clients for over 100 years. Since Brexageddon, we've decided to open a Dublin office, and as I'm new in town, I thought it would be a super idea to run for president to get some free publicity for my business. <laughs> Ask not what you can do for your country, but what your country can do for you. I also put myself forward as I felt this campaign was lacking in suitable quality candidates. Where are the Dennis O'Briens? Where are the Bonos? And where are the George Hooks? that would make such wonderful presidents this time around. In their absence, I felt I had to take up the challenge myself. Now, if I win, obviously I would cease trading for seven years. However, I would use that time to host people useful to my interests and make a lot of powerful contacts. So it's a fabulous chance and a win-win situation. Even though I can't directly solicit work, during my presidency I will be operating the Bunty Reward Scheme. A stack of pink envelopes is always on the table in the Twantington McFuff household, and when you visit, if you want to leave something in one of those, that is up to you. Let me just say, if you're good to Bunty, Bunty's good to you. Now, what are my pledges? I pledge first to read the Constitution. I meant to before now, it's been on my bedside table for weeks on end, but you know yourself how it is. And what of my vision? I have a dream, a neoliberal dream to turn a nation of saints and scholars into a nation of spivs and bag men. The Arras and the Phoenix Park I see as a commercial opportunity that has disgracefully not been exploited to date. My plan is to use the assets of the Arras and the Phoenix Park to create a return on investment for taxpayers. While I am President of Ireland, at the same time I propose to serve as the CEO of the newly created Arras Hunting Lodge and Spa. I would live in one wing of the Arras and the rest would be rented out as hotel rooms to wealthy guests and they would pay top dollar to hunt the deer in the Phoenix Park. We would also build smaller lodges throughout the park, a boutique experience for the discerning hunter. And I've been told a lot of homeless people sleep in the park too, so hotel guests could deal with that problem as well. In order to fully monetize the presidency, I'm also bringing a new reality television show called In Your Arras. And that will follow my life of the president, as the president of Ireland, and I will be putting a proposal into television companies. You might see me in the morning in my silk gym jams, eating breakfast and opening mail from Donald Trump, perhaps even touching myself if it would get good ratings. <laughs> I love Ireland as a country. Each year it's becoming more and more like my home country of Britain. Homelessness, food banks, all the best legacies of the Tories starting to bear fruit here. And making people think it's all their fault has been a wonderful victory for the neoliberal narrative. But there is a challenge coming down the line, as the robots are coming and predicted to take half of all jobs. It's then going to be impossible to keep the myth of shirkers and strivers and the concept of people who get up in the morning when it's clear there are simply not jobs for citizens. We could look at concepts such as the universal living wage so that every citizen has a security net and a basic standard of living while the free market continues to function as it does now and nurturing skills in citizens that robots don't have focusing on creativity and the creative industries in the way the CEO of Alibaba in China has proposed. But that would spoil the immense fun people living below the poverty line have, and how much better people like me feel about their personal wealth knowing they are there. The slight free son of guilt always makes something more Lord enjoyable. On a, point of, on a point of order, Lord knows. Mayor. So I have a plan. We cut all taxation and all social welfare spending, which should lead to a significant reduction in the population after a period of feral living. Then we would burn the bodies of the dead as fossil fuel. If they fight back, we simply have to. Lord, Lord Mayor, I would have to object to this, to object to this here. This is an absolute insult to the office of the Humus, president and anybody Humus. actually nominating themselves for the office of the presidency. This is an absolute insult and it has to be brought about. We agree, Councillor. We agree to allow the candidate. Simply not. We're sitting today who 
you to nominate as president, I suggest that you follow the Justin Trudeau test. Who has the best hair? I think it's quite clear. Man, the ladies, the, 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 the candidate is nearly finished. I'm going to give her another few seconds because of the interruptions. Me. Thank you so much. Vote for me. Gurumagut Norma. And that, Lord Mayor, is why we actually have a nomination process for people to run for presidency. No, we agreed. A, uh, we agreed a procedure, and the procedure is as agreed. Lord, Lord Mayor. Now, we, Lord Mayor, we did agree a procedure, and I'm honouring this, but I have to say, I found the abuse of the council in the last speech and the office of president to be deeply, deeply offensive. Hey, here, Lord Mayor. This is we not have, Big Brother House, so the rest have, of the candidates could at least have the respect for the council to have, address us on serious hold on, issues. I'm not letting anyone in on debate on this. My Wait, no, it's okay. We have a right in this council chamber, Lord Mayor. We have a right to defend the proper process. Excuse me, we also have a right to free speech under the Constitution, and the person was agreed. Stop, Councillor, I'm not putting up with this from you today. I'm not point. putting up with this from you today. Ardvera, point of. Ardvera. Point, point and we order. now get on to the next candidate. No, no points of order. We have an agreed pro procedure. I am going to call on the next speaker and the next candidate. And the next candidate is Gemma O'Doherty. Gormagat, Gemma. Gormagat, uh, Thank you very much, councillors. Uh